Do you look like maybe Jennifer Aniston? <laughs> I'm confused. What? I sort of met more the hair. Uh, I think you're just being a bitch. <laughs> Actually. Hey, hey we're, we're the Brunnikers. Fashion icons. And we're going to be going back through some of those iconic looks of the past 15 years. Can't wait. This is our very first red carpet. It looks like we both attempted our own makeup. You just had a few too many layers on. <laughs> I was doing a punk ballerina vibe. And Jess was well doing done. a bohemian J-Lo moment. Well done. And that's your jacket, actually. I personally love this look. I would love to see this revisited on a red carpet. Oh, I love this. Gosh, the pose and the, everything. The jacket makes a reoccurrence. Re so the Jess has revisited mm. the jacket in this one, and she's wearing it a lot better than I did, I must say. Um, I, again, am layering. I think I've got on some kids because uh, they were like a Converse from America. I think they were um, supplying us with free shoes, so we wore them. They sponsored our tour. This was, I started to get into my emo phase here. Um, I absolutely love this outfit. I wish I still had it. I'd be wearing it today if I did. There is the tie with the sash and then the jacket is a, is a whole look. Do you look like maybe Jennifer Aniston? <laughs> I'm confused. What? I don't know. Just Have you ever seen Jennifer Aniston in black? No, I, I haven't. I sort of met more the hair. Uh, I think you're just being a bitch. <laughs> Actually. <gasps> I love this look. Uh, let's not look at what the background of this one. No. But gosh, those dresses. This was a very vintage. cool look. I actually love this one. This was in this gorgeous vintage dress, floor length white gown with side boob. I was very I'm sure about I that. really wanted to be wearing, but for some reason she got to wear it. I'm wearing a lot of eyeliner. We both are. Yeah, probably at least a pencil's worth. <laughs> You've got two hair ties still on your wrist <laughs> in this photo. The biggest yeah, no hair no ties. in red carpet history I is did. wearing. I gave zero fucks, let me tell you, <laughs> clearly. My shirt may have even said that. We really don't look any different now, really, do we? Except that our, we finally grew our brows out, because they're quite yeah. thin there. Yours are even thinner than mine in this one. Close up on that. I remember when this photo came out, Ooh, it was the but first not time that I felt like I looked really pretty, because I hate almost all photos of me, but I thought I looked pretty in this photo. Now that I look at it, I'm like, ah, uh, I look absolutely heinous, but <laughs> at the time I thought I looked pretty, because compared to all the other photos, it is a little bit better. <laughs> I think you look gorgeous. Oh! Oh, oh I, that's right, I wore a skirt <laughs> as a dress in this. Wow! Mm, yeah, you've got a little strapless dress out of a skirt. Oh, bless me. I love that we did the color coordination here. And I'm in a polka dot ah. skirt, a little po poofy one. You look cute. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I love this little moment. <laughs> Oh, bless. I look like Humpty Dumpty. We're really cute. <laughs> we are really cute here. This is Dolly Magazine red carpet. Iconic magazine in Australia. These were like $10 sunglasses that I got. I've just broken up with my partner at the time. And I wide outed love sucks on them for the red carpet. <laughs> I'm wearing a fedora for God knows what reason. You actually got it together. Within the, from the last photo to this one, you somehow got it together, babe. Mm, the makeup looks good. It's very Demi Lovato from the same era, really. I think that was before Demi though. Yeah. Ooh. Now this look is iconic for sure. <laughs> Jess looks like Lady Gaga mm. and I look like strong. Um, <laughs> Gorgeous dress though. That dress is stunning. I remember it weighed about three Veronica's worth. It was very, very heavy. Uh, all hand beaded chains. I'm pretty sure you refused to wear what they pulled, the stylist pulled for Yes, you. they wanted me in proper yeah. pants, like a proper pantsuit, and I said, I'm gonna wear tights. Spandex. It was the 2000s, so I said, tights, tights it is. Makeup looks beautiful, though. Yeah, we'd obviously um, let someone do our makeup for this, this one. Thank God. We didn't let stylists and makeup artists touch us for quite a few red carpets, mm -hmm. and then we realized we probably needed it. <laughs> Ah. Oh, I'm in stripper heels. I'm wearing stripper heels in this one. It was for a very um, posh looking event and we're in suits and stripper heels. And I'm in a, an amazing top hat and an ill-fitting suit. <laughs> Same. Mine was too big, I remember, and we couldn't get it altered in time, so I just tried to roll it up and make it look like it fit, which clearly I didn't, it didn't get pulled We off. clearly, listen, we clearly, we clearly get no shits shit at don't. all, ever. We really don't care. It's, I kind of admire old us because we just really didn't care. 
to be honest, we still don't care. Yeah, but we care a little bit more now than we did then. We really just didn't care at all. Uh, now this next look is definitely the best outfit we've ever worn. Uh, my personal favorite, the glitter tits moment for the Arias. It was just like being naked on stage and it felt great. Body glitter and latex. It's hard to get into. It took about four hours all up. You have to buy special lube for latex and you need a lot of it. You lather yourself up in it and you slide into the latex. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to get into a full latex outfit, legitimately. But you definitely want to use the right lube, otherwise uh, it ruins you, you it. You could split the outfit uh, in public. Has happened to us. Last but not least, oh. oh, oh, blonde moment for both of us. Love the dresses. Kept it simple at this point. Thank God we finally learned that. We grew our brows out, which is wonderful. We were in Wheels and Doll Baby, which mm. is one of our favourite sort of designers. And we finally learnt how to do our makeup. Our hair's still a little bit questionable. It's that sort of perfect mix of the trashy and the classy. So at least the ratio is at least 50-50 here, which I'm proud of us for because this wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Veronica's moved Later. to LA for a year. That's what that look is and hang out in Malibu. And this You've is got the some result. massive boobies in this one. Yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. so we were definitely trial and error back then of figuring it out as we went along. We also, again, we really didn't care that much. Uh, we it never was a different considered time. ourselves the pretty girl, so we never tried, if that makes sense, to try to put that image forward. It was always just like being unique and you know taking a risk with our clothing. That's what we took so much pride in. So I'm going to put white out on my sunglasses. This is going to be a really cool moment. We put more value in how to stand out mm -hmm. rather than how to blend in, how to blend, obviously, a makeup or anything else. We were so lucky we had each other because yeah. it was almost like, you know, we found our confidence in, in, in ourselves and each other. And, and taking risks. Taking risks was way more fun with fashion and makeup and we just love to play. <laughs>